Hello, Gemini. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support, and I send it right back to you guys. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. This reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for the sign of Gemini at this time? Please and thank you. And you guys may end up having people coming towards you with a lot of suggestions on how to fix this, how to do that, how to go about doing it. And I'm getting like, fuck that. It's like, you know, you guys are doing things exactly the way you need to. It's really like some opportunist here. Trying to get in on something that you're doing. are getting over some past heartbreak the magician in reverse wants to keep popping up i mean you guys saw me just shuffling and shuffling so but the magician in reverse wants to keep popping out so someone that you felt like i mean the overall energy is that they miss an opportunity here with the knight of swords being in reverse because you've completely withdrawn from this connection and since you've withdrawn from this connection things have been moving like in the right direction for you but this person things are not going well for them the thing is is like they want to gain back some sort of control over you they realize that you've released them because they're looking at this like they realize you look at them like some sort of burden here. Like they brought a lot of nonsense into your life. But they're wanting to offer you like some, like they want to come towards you with a solid offer here. I'm getting that you're hearing this person out, but you have a lot to say. Because I'm seeing you being very like harsh and direct with somebody here. Woo! Honey, whatever you got to say is going to make this person feel like you just slaughter they ass. So you're going to say some really harsh shit to this person with a ten of swords. Whatever they did, it was the last straw. And you're letting this person know, like, you gave them some sort of opportunity here in the past to make things straight, and they didn't. So it's like you fully released this connection. You gave this person the opportunity to make things right, and that's why they missed their opportunity. And that's why you have completely withdrawn from this, because you've already given them the opportunity to make things right. And they didn't take the opportunity when they had the chance. Now, they want to see, they want to do it on their own time. But see, that's why you're about to let them know. They're trying to hold on to you for their life. You will be receiving communication from this person. They're mad as hell. Mad as hell, but they refuse to learn some lesson here. You're no longer putting your life on pause for this person. You're not allowing them to interrupt your life anymore. That's the thing. It's, it's not even you getting over it. You are over this. You just don't want this person to bother you at all anymore. You want them to stop bothering you. You're definitely headed towards some new beginning. Releasing the baggage of the past, starting over fresh. Some of you guys are relocating, but there's like a complete new beginning here. Ooh, 
Okay. This deck is thick as hell. I love it. It's thick as hell, though. Some of you guys, you always wanted to write a book. Some of you guys are writing a, I'm getting mystery. Some of you guys want to write like a mystery novel. Um, some of you guys are just writing a memoir here. Like you're writing an autobiography. But they're saying to be persistent. Uh, this is something that's going to help bring a lot of stability into your life because I'm seeing that there's a lot of success coming from this. Some of you guys are 35 or you're going towards 35. Um, some of you guys are 26 here, but they're saying like this is going to help bring a lot of stability into your life if you're persistent. Okay, so they're tell they're wanting you to start working on this. They're wanting you to start working on this. You're going to have like ideas coming towards you because you're gathering information. So they're saying like some of you guys need to get a notebook and to start jotting down notes here because you're going to start getting information on how to complete this. They want you to be persistent on this because they're trying to leave, lead you towards some stability. They can't force you to do it. It's up to you. They're not going to magically write the book for you. It's up to you. This is someone specifically. You've been wanting to write a book. You've been wanting to be an author here. Some of y'all, it doesn't have to be a book, but it's something you've been wanting to do. For someone in particular, it's writing a book. But other people, whatever you've been, there's something that you've been wanting to do and they're telling you to be persistent towards it here. So each his own, but I am getting for someone here is specifically a book. You've always told yourself you were going to be on the New York Times best-selling, like a New York Times best-selling author here. Or like you joked with other people like your life uh, would, you know, like writing about your life would be like a best-selling novel here. And you said it jokingly, but you always knew that it was true. Like if you were to write about your life, it will make an amazing story. Yes, so the Phoenix one is to come out here. There's it is your there's a complete new beginning that's about to take place for you guys. Cause it's a total transformation. detaching from so a complete transformation has caused you to detach from a particular situation oh so it's a way of thinking Some, yeah, some of y'all is 35, 36, 25, 26 is popping up. What's up with that? So there's a major transformation that's taking place and it's completely changing the way that you think. 
Like you are, you have a completely different mindset on your views. Some of y'all is even marriage. Like you used to think you always wanted to be married, but some of y'all, you're actually changing. And it's not on no, no type of shit like no one's ever coming in for me. That's not, whoever this is, that's not what you're on. This transformation that's taking place in your life, you guys are reaching a level of success here where it's like you just want to enjoy your life. You don't want anyone to like, you don't want to feel like you're trapped in a situation. You don't want to feel bound to a situation. Like I'm getting like Oprah Winfrey instead, man. So it's not like you won't have a relationship coming towards you. But the energy that you're in is like, you're doing so magnificent here on your own. Is your mindset is just completely different. And some of y'all won't even believe it now. Yes, because you're in this like lone wolf type of energy. You, you're you beginning to believe in your power. You're starting to see it now. And so it's not necessarily, some of you guys will, like your views are changing, but some of you guys are beginning to question your views. Like the things that you, like you're trying to figure out along with this transformation, what completes you here? Because you're thinking things over. I'm getting like you detaching, like you going cold on several people here, but it's while you're in the process of figuring out who you are, where you are in life because of this transformation that's taking place. Because they're saying maybe like some dark times, but not like you're going through anything horrible here. It's just really kind of like a state of feeling lonely, but you're intentionally like withdrawing in order to figure things out in your life. And it's, it's like you don't feel like anyone fully understands where you are at this moment. There is a love interest showing up here. The both of you are going to feel very like sexually attracted towards each other. This person is very established. They're very ambitious as well. Their experience, you guys could be coming into a relationship with someone who's been married before. Some of you guys, that may be part of your views. Like you never want to marry someone that was already married. But there's there are views, like your views are changing. Something that you felt like sure about you're no longer going to feel sure about anymore. You're completely changing your views. But this connection with this person is leading towards something long-term here. Some of y'all will be able to retire at an early age. There is definitely someone that's interested in you. And they're saying that this is someone that you already know that's turning into like a fiance or a connection, something serious here. There's some sort of obstacle. Um, they're saying like the stubbornness here, but pride and stubbornness. Can you give me more about this? So within two to four weeks, there's some new beginning. There will be sudden increase, resource, resourceful. Some of you guys need to be careful because if you're able to have children, they're saying that you will more than likely. And some of you guys, if you have a child, more than likely you'll have like twins some of you guys triplets here some of you guys may have been messing with an aquarius or you're an aquarius with gemini placements someone with aquarius placements is showing up here 
Sagittarius as well. Some of you guys, the issue is is children. Someone wants children, the other person doesn't. See, that's the thing is like, I'm getting this more from you guys, like the place that you're at in life and not if you can't have children. This is for someone who can, but it's like, you're over it. It's, it's like, it's you're just in this energy of like, you're over it, you know? Cause you're coming off as being like cold and detached, but whoever this ain't like very opinionated as well, but like they find you very eccentric. They like your independence here and they think that you're like, you're very assertive, but on top of that, it's like you're very intelligent and you're not afraid to embrace who you truly are. I'm gonna tell you what, cause it's gonna be the exact person that says they don't want children. Y'all end up with triplets here. Y'all don't have to end up with triplets, but you'll end up having some children here with this person. Because this is leading towards something long term. But they're saying that you're going to, you'll, you'll be the one that gives this person a hard time. They're not giving you a hard time. You'll be the one that gives this person a hard time. And it's because of everything that you've been through. I sound a country as hell. It just, it sneaks up on you. Don't even know where it comes from. It just comes out. Anyone, and it's, it's talking like Southern is contagious as well. Like you can talk normal as hell, but when you're next to someone that has a Southern accent, next thing you know, y'all both talking like this. You know, it's just like, it's just, it's contagious. I don't know what the hell it is. If you're from the South, you know. It's like, I don't even know why I'm talking like this. Now, some part of it you can't help, but it's like, it just gets stronger the more you're around more country people. definitely outgrown a particular situation you're no longer like i'm getting more like because they're definitely showing that you've completely withdrawn from this situation and they're saying like because i'm seeing that this person reaches out to you but you're not getting the truth out of this person like they're not like when they communicate with you, they're they're holding back a lot. You're not getting the truth out of the situation. So I'm saying like you ultimately focus on your own success here, focusing on your own endeavor endeavors that are leading you towards success. I'm seeing you get a lot of attention here, but they're also talking about yeah, your dream partner, someone that you. It's like. Whoever is coming towards you is someone that's going to treat you very well. This is like the person that you dreamed of, not the, you know, someone that you've been waiting on. But it's, it's like you're going to look at this person like this is your dream spouse here. Like they check off everything on your list. I mean, to a degree that's unrealistic, but I'm just trying to, it is unrealistic for someone to check off everything on your list. But basically what they're saying is that this person is going to meet your expectations. They're also, it's like, they're going to put you on a pedestal. Like they'll make you feel very good about yourself. I'm seeing you get a lot of attention in general. But whoever's coming towards you, this is someone who has a lot of love for you. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Some of you guys could, like a Scorpio is coming towards you for some of you guys. Virgo as well. Who has regrets here? Someone rejected your love only to realize that they, they feel like the two of you are meant to be together. Like you were finally guided into their life. So someone who rejected you in the past will be coming towards you as well. It's like, my gosh, you can never get through a reading without someone from the past popping up, can you? I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this point. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. This reading resonates with that being said. Let's go ahead and turn off because I'm tired as hell. <laughs>